to my channel and today I have another decluttering and deep clean video for you and we are actually going into my office slash craft room. It is on the main floor, my living space, and it also corrals a lot of stuff that I don't want the world to see. So I'm going to take you in there to this disaster that has accumulated through the months and I'm not really sure how to grasp it. I think thinking about it and pondering about it, I have decided I need to stay on it a part of my weekly cleaning routine and not just disregard it, you know, from month to month because it just accumulates it, accumulates so much clutter and mess that it gets overwhelming. So let me know in the comments below if you have any secrets on how to keep and maintain the space once we're done. So let me flip this camera around and show you the disaster that's in there and we're gonna get started and make this area clean and sparkle and shine and chaos out of here. Okay, so I'm almost afraid to even take you in here because it's quite scary, but you need to know the reality. Okay, so I did have a deep cleaning video from before and I deep cleaned it and I decluttered it and it was beautiful and here we are I have camera gear I have a camping cat I have fall foliage um, books and just papers and spackling and a stool and whatnot the funny thing is I'm a very messy person and I am fine with the world knowing that, but the sad, the interesting thing is my closet, my craft closet isn't too bad, and I did a whole organizational video with this. It's not too bad. So this is like a space that nobody sees that is somewhat organized. You know, I mean, there's a few things that are out of place and I need to make prettier, but yeah. So I'm a little overwhelmed. A little frustrated it does need to get done I need to be able to walk in here I need to have some sanity in here and I'm gonna take you guys along with me and hopefully through this video you can give me some advice and tips on how to maintain a orderly space to the public and world because I don't think I have a closet problem I think I have an obvious in-your-face problem and I do have a lot of projects in my life and a lot of things I do, and I'm a very creative person. So maybe that has something to do with it. I'm not sure. But let's get started. All right, so the first thing we're doing in my home office is basically just going through and decluttering, putting things back where they belong, deciding if I want to keep these items and they're still useful. If I don't, I'm deciding if are they broken and they need to be thrown out or if they're still in good shape and I can donate them or pass them along. So that is what I'm doing here. One thing I know is that in a home office or any type of office environment, one thing we seem to collect a lot of is paper. And I am here just basically going through paper after paper. A lot of it is pertaining to my kids' school, my business, my personal life, and whatnot. So I'm deciding what is still important and useful. Um, also, another thing that I accumulate in my home office is a lot of crafting supplies that I no longer use and need anymore. Um, so I am basically trying to go through each of these little wicker baskets that corral a lot of my craft supplies and deciding like, hey, this, yeah, I could still find a use for this. And if not, I'm just basically donating it um, and hopefully uh, crafter will get some hidden gems at my local 
thrift store. This shelving unit I purchased at Ikea along with all the baskets and I just want to say this is very durable, very sturdy and it has been a blessing because I feel like I can corral everything that I need in the the baskets and it still looks aesthetically pleasing. I know right now it's very cluttered but when you get everything organized and put where it belongs it does just look very nice when it is all cleaned and organized. Now I'm basically decluttering my toolbox, I like to call it. It basically has some tools in there and some supplies I need for DIYs or projects around the home. And now I'm going through a bunch of paperwork that I get, um, ads and paper, that junk mail basically I get through the mail and I'm going through some of my personal items such as documents and things like that and birthday cards.
Again, when I am decluttering, and I'm not really showing you the piles, but I do make three piles. I basically put one pile of things I want to keep that need a home, a pile that I want to donate, and a pile that's complete trash. And I am doing this throughout this office deep cleaning experience. Now I'm taking a cleaner to clean all of the surfaces and this, surf, this surface cleaner is a multi-surface cleaner so I can clean glass and wood, any type of surface. So that is what I'm doing here, just giving it all a nice wipe down from all of the debris that is accumulated and all the germs. Now I'm cleaning my desk and I am using a cleaner for my electronics that's specifically used to clean electronics so don't worry about that and I am giving it all a good wipe down and kind of just decluttering. My desk gets a lot of junk on it um, and there's a lot of things I like to have by me when I'm at my office such as hand lotion, chapstick, chocolates and all that good stuff. So that's what I'm doing here is just basically giving it a good clean, trying to organize it as much as possible so I can have a lot of surfaces to work on. So this looks a lot better and I'm much happier with the space. I would love to paint this room and redo the floors which are carpeted and they're very stained um, but obviously time and money is an issue but everything is kind of cohesively put together. I do have if you can see right there there's like two missing baskets. I'm not really sure what happened to them that I stored these mason jars in and then I stored some albums in. So I think I'm gonna have to hit Ikea and pick them up if I don't find them. But if I do find them, they may be at my dance studio. They may be in one of the kids' rooms or something like that. If I don't find them, then I'm gonna go and purchase some new ones. So I have some books over there that I'm gonna kinda go through and decide if I'm gonna keep, donate, or give away, or throw out. Um, I have some pieces, if you can see right there, that are going to go into the new dance studio space. I have my camera bag. I found um, some sterling silver in this little bin at an estate sale this summer. So I'm going to keep that there. I don't really have a space for it at this point, but I love it and whatnot. I think it'll make a good, like, pretty decorative storage piece. I have paper, my thread, and pretty much all of these bins are craft items and whatnot. Over on this side is just some of my camera supplies and in my closet I do have a closet organizational video and it's pretty much the same, nothing too exciting. There's that stained carpet that I'd like to get rid of. Also I'd like to mention I do want to replace these windows um, with a good quality window to last through the Michigan winters. If you guys 
recommend a particular company that has good windows, good lifetime warranty, can with still or withstand, I should say, crazy temperatures, let me know in the comments below. I'm thinking Anderson might be the best. That's what I have upstairs on the second floor currently. And I don't love them, but I don't hate them either. And then down on my main floor are all wall side. So let me know in the comments below. So this is where my desk is. And um, I gave this a good wipe down and cleaning. I store some of my things I need for work. There's books up there are my kids' art supplies, pictures, and things of that nature. Um, like I said, I would love to repaint this room, and eventually I'm going to get to it, but I have other rooms I want to focus on, and I want to replace the carpet. So, and I think I want to go with the hardwood. I'm kind of anxious to see what's underneath it. I did pull, let me take you over here, a piece of the carpet, and it's really yucky. And I pulled some of the tile out, the old tile, like the 1970s. This house was um, built in the 40s. And I'm not really sure. This is like the glue. I might want to sand it just to kind of see. These might be just basically like um, plywood boards. That's the flooring and not plank. I'm kind of hoping it is plank, but we'll see. Um, this will be a big, big maybe Christmas vacation project. So we will see. So there you have it, guys. My home office is deep clean, decluttered, and somewhat organized. I do have an organizational video um, that gives you more in depth of my home office and what I organized in there. Um, I kind of just kind of touched up those areas, mostly like my file cabinets and things like that. I will link that video in the cards above throughout this video along with my closet craft organization. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Remember to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that bell so you don't miss any videos from me. And I hope today is a nice cleaning day for you and you can gain control of your life and declutter. It's so rewarding just to go in and deep clutter and deep clean. It kind of gives you a sense of a new life. Um, you find things that you're like, whoa, why do I have so many of this and so many of that, such as pencils? So I'll probably never buy another pencil as long as I'm alive, I've decided, or colored pencil. So go ahead, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell so you don't miss any videos and notifications from me, and I'll see you guys real soon. So long.